Um, this is editing crew here. I'm so sorry. I never filmed an intro for this. And uh, yeah, this is the mess of my house. I'm not sure how I feel about showing it, uh, but here it is. Anyway, I'm going to do three looks with three of the different Chi Chi palettes with a special little surprise for you guys later on. So tune on in and let's see where we go in today. Hello. Today we're going to be knocking out a look with the Mermaid eyeshadow palette from Chi Chi. I've got the MAC paint pot down on my eyes. Let's bring you in and see where this takes us. Oh, there's no names in the shade, so it's a mystery where we're going to go. But I'm going to dip into this blue. Oh, great. I'm pretty excited for this. I'm going to dip. I'm just going to put this on my outer corner. Nothing revolutionary here. And bring this a little bit under my eye and around my corner. And just blend this into the, the crease and just so we don't have any harsh edges. I've done a better job on this side than this side I think. So I think I just dabbed into the original blue to blend this down a bit more. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to dab down in this lovely shade here. And bring it around and in under my eye. Oh, I think that actually might be my favorite shade of the matte so far. The gray is nice, but it is like a little bit patchy. And the other blue was nice, but this one's got like a lot more bang for its buck. But let's go on with the first blue with this brush. Oh, it's brush dependent. Interesting. This brush is doing the treat. This is the BH Cosmetics. 104. Oh, that's really nice. I'm just going to pull that grey, same brush, under my eye. And then on my lid, I'm going to go in with this shade here in the center. And I think I'm going to try and halo eye it again. Actually, no, I'm not going to halo eye it. It's just going to be too hard. This brush is too big and I've run out of brushes. So I'm just going to dab this down. Oh, wow. That's a lovely shimmer. Then for the inner corner, this lovely sort of yellowy shade. Like whatever that is. It looks more yellow to me. But on the viewfinder, it's looking like a bit just white. I'm just going to bring this on top. Um, let's keep in the blue theme. I'm going to go into Colourpop's Prance on my waterline. And the lashes. The Lancome Hypnos. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of Authentive Lie Liner on. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick it like that. It's just like a bit of a line for the bottom lashes. Are you zoomed in enough? Oh yeah. Sorry, you can see. But this is the final look here. I quite like it. See you for the next one. Hello, hello. Today we're going to do a quick look with the pink fantasy from the Chi Chi collection. Let's go in. I'm going to lay down the MAC paint pot for my base. And then let's have a play. Alright, so let's bring you in a little bit. I'm going to try and keep my eye under focus for this look. We're going to go in with this pink and I'm going to bring the pink all through my crease. All right, and then using the same brush, I'm going to go in with this pinky pebble and I'm just going to put that in my crease too. What's going on with this lighting today? All right. All right, hopefully we look a little bit more like what I'm seeing. Right, and then for the outer corner, going in with this purple. I'm just going to change up brush a little bit. I just want to get on this corner, see. It's just going to be crazy. There we go. I 
And I'm going back to that first brush and I'm just going to blend them this purple through. So it was definitely a bit patchy. But I think we're sort of getting there a little bit. Like where it doesn't look atrocious. You can see where it's darker and lighter, but I can easily tap this up. I just wouldn't. It's like a little bit annoying to deal with. I'm going to go and do the other eye. So it's worked better on this side where I've dabbed it on and then gone in for the blend. And then let's chuck some shimmers on. So I'm going to start in a corner and I'm going to go in with this still lovely shade up here. So it definitely has like a bit of a translucent base and probably is going to do better with glitter glue. Alright, for the next part I'm going to go into this pink up here. It's a bit more of a satiny shimmer shade I would say. So I'm hoping, yeah, oh, but look at that, that's beautiful. I'm just going to blend it in here. I'm really liking how this brush is working with them so I'm just going to clean this one off and then I'm going to go in with this purple shade down here. So it's definitely just like I'm not doing exactly what I want, so I'm going to go in with my finger and just drag it in a bit like that. That's better. Alright, they're a bit like last year. So let's lay down glitter glue and see how that works. Alright, so going back in with that first pink, the first light shimmer, I'm going to put this on the inner corner. We've got a bit of glitter glue there now. Then going back to that pink shade, or like pinky purple, and laying that over the top of our glitter glue. Definitely like much more, a little bit more bang, but it is a satin shade. So it doesn't have that foiled intensity that I probably usually really enjoy. Then going into the purple and seeing how this picks up. Much better, and the color is definitely a lot more present. Going back into my original blending brush and just bring that over the top. Then just wiping off this fallout. Easy. Oh, I forgot under my eyes. I'm such an idiot. I think let's just go in with this shade that we haven't really used yet. I'll clean this brush off. Then I'm going to duck off, do mascara. Yeah, maybe light up. I'm not sure. Yet. I'll come back. All right, we've got the NYX in White Smoke on the Waterline. We've got CoverGirl Clump Crasher and Astralis Skinny Mini on the Lashes and the Fenty Fly Liner. Let's bring you in real close so you can see that part I missed. Powder. What is going on over there? I think a little bit better. So here is the final look for this one. Alright, I'll see you at the next look. Hello! Alright, same day. <laughs> We're going into the colourful one. We are going to go into OMFG. I put the MAC paint pot down. I read it underneath my eyes. If it's why it looks a bit like if, that's why. We're going to dive in. There's not many, there are more satiny shades in this one. There's not much going on. So I thought, I'm gonna, let's do my classic, all the colors on my eyes. So I'm gonna go in with red. I just feel like this gives you like the best sort of idea of the shadows. And uh, I think it's fun. I'm entertained by it. I don't feel like w washing so many brushes. I just washed them the other day to the orange shade. So I'm just gonna reuse this brush as much as I can uh, just by cleaning it off in my like colors like my little sponge thing cleaning it off and what colors next yellow this is gonna be interesting it looks so washed out but I swear that's yellow that is yellow there it is definitely like needs a bit of building up I think all the shades sort of 
do. There's a bit of fallout, but like it's not bad. Green. Let's go into this look too. It looks like there's two. So there's, yeah, right. there's this shade. So this is a green. This is a better green. Uh, all right, let's go into that top green, which is a shimmer formula. And just see how it goes. Um, all right, we're very shiny. There's not much base to it. It kind of adds like a fun texture to the other shade. I'm just gonna go over it with that, the bottom green and see how it goes. Just to like give it a bit more base. They both are satin shades anyway. All right, yeah. But there we are. You can sort of see how much more pigment that one has than the other one. All right, and then green, blue. I think let's go into this blue here. And then let's just finish it out with like, what is it, indigo violet? So I'm gonna go in with the purple here. All right, it's kind of like working, not really. I'm just gonna try and get rid of that excess. Bring you in a little bit. I think you can come in closer. I'm just stressed about last week and not including the look like where I was half out of the frame. But can you see like there's this patchiness right here? I think for me eyeshadows really don't like sticking there that much. But it is a bit annoying. Especially like can I do this one because this looks way better. I'm gonna get a clean blending brush and just blend out the edges. Hilariously, like how did I go so up high on this one and so not high on this one? Let's go back and fix it. It starts with the orange. I want these to get along like the blue and the purple. I'm just gonna mix them together and bring them here. That kind of worked. All right, clean blending brush. Voila. Rainbow eyes. The yellow doesn't have as much bang as I wish it did. For this one, I'm gonna go in with my Lush Venus, my Lush Venus Gold Liner and lay it down. I might as well show you the process. Should I not? This takes a while, man. Like, it takes so long. This. <laughs> It will probably take longer than it took for me to put the shadows on. So I'm just using a little paintbrush and just with the smallest amount going over the bottom of my lashes. And then a little wing. Just filling in that bit that I've drawn. Trying to even it out a bit so it shows. Cool. Right, I don't think I'm going to bother try <laughs> trying to show you these steps anymore. That was like hard um, and I'm worried about getting it in the frame so I'd rather have like do my best effort with the wings and come back. All right let me finish my liner and mascara and I shall return. All right here we are I'm back. So I've put lip nose, uh, Lancome Hypnose doll eyes on my upper lashes, Astralis Skinny Mini on my lower lashes, the LA Girl liner in Pop on my waterline, we've got the Lush Venus liner on and that is it. I also just got in the mail my Melt Cosmetics one lip in Monaco. Monaco lip already. Um, I just got my Melt Mas Mel <laughs> I just got my Melt Cosmetics order as we were film as I, I was filming those looks. I got a little bit of mascara there, and I'm sorry. Oh, what a fun like coral shade. So. I probably haven't filmed too much more with these palettes. I don't think that many people are actually aware of them, but I thought it was fun to get these ones up. I know you guys did want to see more videos. I reckon I will do a sunrise comparison video on my Huda Beauty palette, but I'm going to have to do that at a later date. I've got way too much stuff to play with. I've, tr I've been trying really hard with the schedule. Anyway, if you made it this far, I have my first giveaway. So, how will this work? I'm not really sure. I think I'm just going to make a pinned comment in the comments. Comment down there below. Be following my YouTube channel and 
link like your Instagram handle or a way that I can contact you down in that comment and in a well, usually these are open for a month aren't they but it's like Christmas soon so I will leave this giveaway open for two weeks and I'm gonna close it on the 10th of December so hopefully the items can get to you before Christmas if that's something you're interested in so I will select a winner on the 11th of December based on everyone who has commented on that comment by the 10th so for the giveaway what shall you get well it's a Chi Chi video so you're gonna get three palettes that I just used we've got the OMFG we've got the mermaid eyeshadow palette and the pink fantasy these are the ones that you're going to receive and I'm also just gonna chuck in a Juno and Co sponge that I bought for no reason and I, I like these sponges so you can have it and it's pink that's cute so I'm gonna open it to international because a lot of you like or Australian I don't mind where you are just be subscribed or if you're already subscribed because I'm probably not gonna put this in my title or anything like that I just want to thank you guys for being here with me and watching all my videos you guys mean the world to me and I just want to do this as a thank you um, it's pretty cool to be like at 500 subscribers anyway let's talk a bit about the palettes and whoever wins I'd be excited to see what you think of these parts as well I haven't yet seen them in Australia like in Target here I did go looking at Chermside the other day which is my big Westfield and they weren't there so I'm not sure so pink which one mermaid this is quite cute I didn't mind the blues and there's a lot of satins all throughout this formula I think for a drugstore this is pretty good for 20 bucks I'm totally happy with it glitter primer is gonna make all of these pop a little bit more pink fantasy is probably one of my favorites and I I'm gonna at some point use glitter primer with that middle shade because mmm is perfect but if you're only gonna buy one of these palettes pink fantasy I would definitely put on your list from the ones I've tried and OMFG I mean it's nice and like I think this is like a great gift for someone who's into colorful makeup or you're trying to like just want to test it out a little bit more but these aren't gonna be a big bang to begin with you can see them all in my eyes the yellow is a bit crap but the orange like that's sort of expected and the purple I don't know but this is a good complimentary color expanding palette so I'm excited that we have a drugstore versions of these palettes available. I'd love to know if you've picked any of them up yet and what you think of them. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.